Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am working on organizing my upstairs hall closet. We moved in about a month ago and things have been a little bit crazy, so I haven't been able to quite get it to where it was at the old house. It's not terrible, but it could definitely use some improvement. So I'm gonna start off by going through all the items, making sure nothing's expired. Anything that I'm not using, of course, I'm gonna go ahead and toss it. Otherwise, anything that's brand new that I might not be using, I'll definitely go ahead and give to friends or family. Here's how we're looking right now. I still have the containers that I kept from the old house. Everything is just kind of jumbled together and the closet configuration is a lot different than the last house. So I do have space to work with, but it's just not as much space as I had in the old house. So I'm gonna just try to organize things a little bit better and make them fit more nicely in this space. And then I also have some items that I picked up from the store that I also need to work in there as well. All right, guys, here we go. So I have some baby wipes that I'm gonna actually put in my daughter's room. And then I just kind of wanted to start at the bottom. I just think that it's easier just to get this little section done. And I just realized that I had some vacuum parts to a vacuum I don't even have anymore. So I'm just kind of going through that and getting rid of the parts that we no longer have that vacuum to. And I just like to keep a little section upstairs for some of my cleaning supplies, like my gloves, magic erasers, sponges, all of that kind of thing. So I like to just keep it all in this container. It's really easy. That way I don't have to go back downstairs. And then in my laundry room, I keep some other cleaning supplies. I like to buy the two pack of the Swiffer wet um, cleaning pads that you put at the bottom of the mop. And I always keep one container upstairs and one container downstairs. And I like to do like the bathrooms and the anything that has tile with these. I just quickly vacuum it and then I use those. It's super easy, it's super quick. All right, so moving on, I like to use the tiny little containers. I'll link the exact ones that I use down below. So basically what I do is I categorize like items in these little containers and then I will label them. So for this one, it's like pain relief and creams and things like that. And I'm also kind of just going through and making sure that nothing's expired or something maybe that I'm not using anymore. There's no need to hold on to things that you haven't used in you know over six months or a year. And I've also noticed that some of these containers are kind of empty. So what I like to do periodically is just kind of go through and see which containers I can condense and then I can use the containers in other areas of my home so I don't have to go out and keep buying more containers. I also store medications and prescription medications in these containers as well. I don't have a medicine cabinet in any of the bathrooms and I just really like to keep them concealed in a container and then I put them up high on the shelf. And also I like to go through and I make sure that medications, if they've expired, I will go to the pharmacy and dispose of them properly. And here I am showing you the true sunscreen hoarder that I am. I just realized that I have some bug spray and some sunscreen that's literally like five years old. So those items need to be disposed of. If you shop at BJ's or Costco and you buy like soaps, like as you can see, I do, uh, there's just a lot of soap going on there. These bins are perfect for that too. I'll just store like soaps and body wash and lotions. So I always have backups. I like to keep a bin for like a screwdriver and some safety tools. So I'll have like um, some of the outlet covers or things like that for my daughter, some command strips, stuff like that so that I keep upstairs in the closet so that they're easy to access. And we also like to keep a bin for like a first aid kit and we keep it upstairs in the closet so that everyone knows where it's at. If you need band-aids, if you need anything first aid related, you know exactly where to go and to find it.
Another thing these bins are great for is reminding you of what you need. So here's all like the dental hygiene. So I have like my whitening strips, toothpaste, toothbrushes. I don't have any toothpaste, so it's just really easy. So then I know that I have to go ahead and add that to my list. If someone is looking for a new toothbrush, they know exactly where to go and where to find it. And I just realized my dog is having a breakdance session in the background. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Label makers are where it's at. They're so easy to use. I can quickly print out a label, put it onto the bin, and if I no longer need to use that label and I need to make a different one, super easy to remove. I just love labeling everything. This label maker was super affordable. I think it was only like $25 or something. I'll link it down below in the description box so that you can easily find it. Okay, so I have the bins organized. I was able to actually condense a couple of them. So I have a couple bins left over. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and move the bins back up into that area and organize that, and then I'm gonna move on to organizing the towels and the rest of the closet. All right, so I'm just about finished. Here's how everything came out. So I just have the vacuum that I like to use for the stairs and little spaces. And then I have like my iron and my steamer in there. And then just some of my cleaning supplies labeled and tucked away down here. This shelf is all empty now. And I'm going to use this specifically just for sheets and things like that. And then this row is beach towels and just some extra towels. These ones I'm actually looking to get rid of because they are from my old bathroom and they don't really match what I'm going for in this house. And then I just have everything neatly labeled in these little containers. I will link these containers down below so that you can easily find them. And then I just moved my blankets up to the top so that you know if I need to stack things, it'll be easier. And then I just have some other things going on up there, but nothing much. These bins are so easy. I really love to use them. You can see through them. That's really easy to kind of just change out what you want to store in them and just relabel them. That's what I do. So yeah, that's why I really like to use them for storage. Again, I will link everything down below. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button directly down below so that I know you like these types of videos and I'll keep making more and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.